Hey guys, we got a Bambi TV. Guys, if you want to check out one of your competition, this is going to be the Quran is the world's richest book. Guys, let's get straight into this. In the last episode, we explored verses in the Quran and hadiths that showed us the Prophet Muhammad believed himself to be worthy of receiving equal reverence and worship as Allah. I'll link that video in the description. So it really shouldn't be a surprise to us when we read verses like this one in the Qur'an. O oh, people of the book, why do you argue about Abraham while the Torah and the Gospel were not revealed until long after him? Do you not understand? The people of the book this verse is referring to are the Jews and the Christians. What the Qur'an is trying to argue is that the Torah and the Gospels were not revealed to us until long after the Prophet Abraham's death. Therefore, it's impossible to really trust the accuracy of both the Torah and the Gospels. This is rich. Rich in hypocrisy, that is. To claim that the Jews and the Christians have no basis for their faith simply because the Torah and the Gospel came long after Abraham's death makes absolutely no sense, considering the fact that the Qur'an itself came long after the Torah and the Gospels. <laughs> Talk about having double standards. Now, why would the Qur'an make such an audacious claim? The answer is actually quite simple. Abraham was neither a Jew nor a Christian. He submitted in all uprightness, and was not a polytheist. The footnote for this verse adds, Linguistically, Muslim means someone who has submitted themselves to Allah. So according to the Qur'an, the Prophet Abraham, along with all the other prophets, were Muslim. Wait, but how many prophets are there in Islam to be exact? Well, the answer depends on who you ask. Abu Dar said, I said, O Messenger of Allah, how many prophets were there? He said, 124,000. I said, O Messenger of Allah, how many of them were messengers? He said, 313, a good number. I said, O Messenger of Allah, who was the first of them? He said, Adam. According to Muhammad, there were 124,000 Muslim prophets, starting with Adam. But the Qur'an only mentions 25 prophets. Now, in all fairness, although this is a very well-known hadith, it is graded as being da'if, meaning it's very weak, and some even consider it to be inauthentic. So the answer to the question, how many prophets are there in Islam, to put it simply, is somewhere between 25 and 124,000. I think I'll stick to my chances of winning the lottery. But I want to go back to Ali Imran, verse 65, and particularly this part of the verse. Do you not understand? The words, do you not understand, are athela daikilun, which really translate to, do you not use your intellect? This verse takes a seriously condescending tone. It suggests that the Jews and the Christians don't use their common sense, because it's so obviously clear that all the prophets in the history of mankind were Muslim. Here you are. You disputed about what you have little knowledge of. But why do you now argue about what you have no knowledge of? Allah knows, and you do not know. Wallahu ya'lamu, wa antum la ta'lamun. Allah knows, and you do not know. There we go again with the condescending tone. And once again, this is rich. This is rich coming from a book that claims Mary, the mother of Jesus, to be a descendant of Imran, the father of Moses and Aaron. This is rich, coming from a book that claims the Jews believe Ezra, 
to be the Son of God. This is rich, coming from a book that tells us it was Allah himself who revealed the Torah and the Gospel. This is rich, coming from a book that tells Jews and Christians that their faith is baseless unless it stands on the base of the Torah and the Gospel. This is rich, coming from a book that tells us Allah instructed Muhammad to go to the people of the book, the Jews and Christians, if he ever had any questions about the scriptures. Somewhere between 25 and 124,000 prophets, it was supposedly Muhammad, and only Muhammad, who got it right, while all the others were completely wrong. If you ask Google for the definition of the word hubris, you will get this answer. Excessive pride or self-confidence. Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. Those are the words recorded in the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 18. In the case of the Qur'an, the Prophet Muhammad and Allah both fall into a pit that they, ironically, have dug themselves. Allah claims to know all, while others know nothing at all. He then shows us that he is completely wrong about even the most basic of historical principles, such as Mary's lineage and who the Jews believe the Son of God to be. On top of that, Allah then instructs his beloved prophet to use the very people, the Jews and Christians, and their scriptures, who he so vehemently degrades, as the reference point for verifying Muhammad's revelations. <laughs> but remember, those Jews, Christians, and all the other prophets are completely wrong, because their Torah and Gospels came long after the death of Abraham. Luckily for us, we have the one single prophet out of all 124,000 of them who did get it right. And we have this Qur'an, which came even longer after the Torah and the Gospels did. But don't worry, the Qur'an was perfectly written and preserved by... Wait. Who did actually write the Qur'an? Looks like I've got more filming to do. Until next time, salam. Guys, this guy is really, really funny. And there are some points there, though. You know, if you say the Gospels and the Torah was written long after it, I don't see why, and we shouldn't use it, I don't see why the Quran should still say we should judge the the Quran based on what the Torah and the Gospel said. So, guys, please let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section and educate me, please. Because I feel we should have a lot of comments and people actually come to my comment, come to my YouTube channel just to leave comments and like see people's thoughts about this video. So, please guys, leave your own comments and debunk anything you feel he said that isn't right. So, guys, tell me what you think about this video. Just like, just go to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.